If we turn now to the slides, the first slide shows testing capacity and new cases. And yesterday, there were 128,437 tests in the UK, meaning that there's been a total of 4.48 million tests that have been carried out since the start of this crisis. Now, of course, testing capacity stands at a higher level. Testing capacity stands at 206,444. And this shows that there is extra capacity for more tests, and tests are available right now on the website if you go to nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus, or if you can't access the web, if you dial 119. And I wanted to highlight that because it's so important that people come forward for a test and anyone who needs a test can get a test. The next, if we stay at the previous slide, the next chart shows that there are 1,570 cases confirmed as of yesterday. And this is the lowest number since the 25th of March. In total, 276,000 people, um, cases have been confirmed in total. Uh, but this number of 1,570 uh, is, uh, it, it shows that we've seen continued downward progress in the number of new confirmed cases. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. We're getting this virus under control, and this is why we can make the cautious, small, positive steps that we've been able to make today. And if we look at the number of admissions with COVID-19 to hospital at 479, that's down from a peak of 3,121 on the 2nd of April. If we go to our final slide, sadly, 39,045 people have died with coronavirus, confirmed with a positive test. That's 111 yesterday, Again, that figure is the lowest figure since lockdown began on the 23rd of March. 